Today yourself. we'll be doing hot ones with Professor Nima. Do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, I'm Nima. I'm an assistant teaching professor in computer science. A lot of familiar faces that I haven't seen in a couple years now, actually, a lot of you, but yeah, good to see everyone. Yeah. And then we'll quickly introduce ourselves too. So I'm Shirley. I'm this year's president for ACM. My spice tolerance is not very high, <laughs> so this will be fun. Hi, I'm Nashant. I'm this year's VP events for ACM. My spice tolerance is slightly higher than Shirley's, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> the first hot sauce is called Hot Ones, the classic, and it's a 1800 Scoville heat unit. Oh. So take the first bite. Hey, let me drench this bad boy. Oh, there we go. And not too spicy. Yeah. Mm. Okay. The first question is, if you get to meet one of the Final Fantasy or Fast and Furious characters, who would you meet? Dom Toretto. Easy. And family. Why? Oh, and why? <laughs> he, he's the head of the family. You gotta, I don't know. He, his priorities are all in the right place. He could be falling from a giant building or <laughs> fighting international crime bosses, but family, family. always comes first. That's a good answer. <laughs> I've thought about this a lot. <laughs> Has someone asked you this question before? No, but no? I ask myself it every day. Oh. Oh, <laughs> okay. What would be the first thing you say to him if you meet him? The first thing to say? Ooh, it has Other to than be a, hi. Like. That's a good question. <laughs> oh, that, that's a good Nima. question. Uh, I don't got students. <laughs> I got family. Oh. <laughs> okay, we'll go into the next hot sauce. Just called Dawson's Hot Sauce, Cedar Smoked Garlic, Ooh. and it's 7,000 Scoville Heat units. 7,000? 7, 7,000. We're, we're still in baby numbers. Baby here. numbers? Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Just kind of. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't have people he call me out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't ever have anyone think that I'm like a phony or something. Whoa. <laughs> okay, ready? Three, two, one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's nice. So, oh, which one is it? Hmm? I'm gonna buy myself one. <laughs> that one's good. Dawson's. Okay. Right. Dawson cedar smoked garlic. Ooh. So, my second question is: We know you've been teaching here for a while. So, what is your funniest student story? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, this is a good one. So, when I taught CSE 11 my first quarter, I had like like surveys for each assignment just to have students tell me like what's going on or you know if there's any issues with the class and then I had a script that would kind of parse all the student responses and then organize them in a spreadsheet and then I noticed that one week it just started crashing every week I noticed that one student was submitting the entire b-movie script as their <laughs> response and I didn't expect that it would be that long so it crashed my pipeline I had to like rewrite it to, to handle cases like that um but yeah, I was like stuck on it for like a couple, like maybe like 30 minutes or something. Like, why is it not parsing? It should work. Um, yeah, B movie. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Um, all right, next, next sauce. The next is sauce is called Clark and Hopkins Calabria, and it's 15,700 <laughs> Scoville heat units. It's over 9,000. <laughs> yeah. I'm scared. The aggressive shake. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've worked them too hard. <laughs> there we go. Oh. I think that's that's pretty that's, good. That's sauced. Okay. Cheers. 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 <laughs> this one tastes like ketchup. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. The next question is what is your dream job if you are not a computer science um, or professor? Ooh, that's a good question. I think I would want to go into like video game development just because mm. I really liked physics in high school. So maybe pursue physics. I don't know. Any particular but I don't think I was smart enough. I was particularly, I liked, um, I liked circuits, but that's kind of computer science again. Um, I liked relativity. I had like a little stint in relativity for the IB physics test. Um, I don't know what you would do with that, though. I don't know. Become Are there, a professor like, again. <laughs> yeah, become a professor again, for real. Full circle. Maybe an economist. Economist would be kind of cool. I liked econ. Get an econ minor back in the day. Back in the day. Um, yeah. 
Probably econ. Econ would be cool econ. too. Mm -hmm. Cool. We can move on to the next hot sauce then. This is called Angry Goat Phoenix, and it's thirty nine thousand Scoville Phoenix. <laughs> it's an angry goat. It's an angry goat, and it has a phoenix on it. Ooh, I can smell this one when you passed it back to me. Oh yeah, yeah, I can smell it. All right. Three, two, one. Cheers. Mm. It's like kind of mustardy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one has cantaloupe in it. Antelope? Cantaloupe. Okay, I was gonna say, I was like, what? <laughs> cantaloupe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can kind of get like a fruity, fruity yeah. flavor. Um, recently, you made the Forbes 30 under 30 list in recognition of some of the tools. <laughs> You develop for Thanks, analyzing COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Am I hip? <laughs> <laughs> Am I hip now? Um, <laughs> so, okay. Recently, you made the Forbes 30 under 30 list in recognition for some of the tools that you developed for analyzing SARS-CoV-2 sequencing data. So could you tell us a little bit more about this research, some challenges you faced, and what you achieved? Yeah, yeah, great question. So I'm sure all of you get annoyed by those like daily, like there was COVID detected in blah, 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 building emails. So, uh, and you've probably all done the nasal swabs. So when we do the nasal swabs and when we have the like the, the wastewater samples, we basically sequence it and try to detect if there's any COVID particles. But the collaborators that we had that used to run these tools, it would take them like two weeks-ish to run the amount of data that we generate each day. Uh, versus if you want it to be real time, you have to have the analysis time be less than or equal to the generation time. So we took it down from like two weeks ish to, you know, with some optimizations and stuff, we got it down to like two hours. And then now we have it down to like less than a couple seconds. Um, so yeah, really cool stuff. So basically if any of you have pooped on campus, we got your data. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's gone through my pipeline. Um, yeah. So just real time monitoring of pathogens and stuff. Mm -hmm. So how does the process for the whole like magazine or the 30 under 30 list work? I don't know. So I actually, I put my own name in there. I was just like, eh, let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't think anything would come of it. But then, uh, so I, it was actually, it was a little underwhelming. I like, I put my name in thinking like, oh, okay, well, that'll be cool if something happens. Then mm -hmm. I got an email. I'm like, oh, that's dope. And then the like, like reward was they added me to a Slack channel with like all <laughs> the other people. But like, I looked up like, like Kendrick and like all those people and no one is on the Slack oh, channel, yeah. obviously, because <laughs> they're too famous. Um, so it was just a bunch of people like promoting their brands and stuff. I'm like, mm. I get it, but, and then like they emailed me saying like, do you want to buy a copy of the magazine frame for like $50? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it was, it was cool though. I'm going to put out my tenure application, but. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to buy the thing that you won? Yeah. So you're buying your own prize. Yeah. So I was oh, like, no, okay. that, that's, that's the line. Like, no, thank you. <laughs> I'll put it on my resume and then. <laughs> that's like buying yourself a participation medal, right? Right, <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. But it was, it was cool though. I, I like the recognition. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This one is called Los Calientes and it is 49,000 Scoville heat units. So 10,000 more than the previous one. Oh no. <laughs> I don't have any like context. I don't know. Yeah. Like, more spicy. More yeah. Spicy. More spicy. <laughs> Spicier. Like, I wonder if there's like a limit to, cause I wonder how they measure Scoville. Cause I imagine your, your tongue's receptors probably have like a limit that they can't stops measuring yeah like like kind of like with heat like if you touch something that's like super hot versus like hot. insanely hot you can't really you feel can't the, difference. the difference mm -hmm. oh thank you i don't know does anyone here know i don't know if any scientists are in the room it's so it's based off the amount of time that the oh here you are that the um, spice needs to be dissolved in water before you can't taste it anymore uh some function of that. Yeah. Ah. I didn't know that. Hmm. Fancy. Interesting. Cool. All right. Three, two, Cheers. one. Cheers. Mm. Well, that one's good. Mm -hmm. Question is, what is the most stressful moment of your career and how did you overcome it? Ooh, most stressful moment of my career. Like as a professor or like at any point? Like at any point during your like a uh, PhD up to a professor. Yeah, yeah, I could actually, I don't, I mean, I guess I can't share screen, but I, so when I was applying for faculty jobs, kind of like applying for your first jobs as an undergrad or like your first internship, I was just like submitting every single application I could. If it had the word 
computer in it, if it had the word math in it, stats, bio, anything, I just like threw my name in. And so I have a spreadsheet of like maybe 80 schools that I applied to for faculty jobs. And I think like six or seven interviewed me. <laughs> um, so I think it's just the unknowing stage that's always the most stressful. And I, I feel like a lot of you probably felt this applying for your first internship. You're going to feel it applying for your first job. It's always like the unknown that's kind of the spookiest. But once mm -hmm. you get your foot in the door, it's a lot easier. <laughs> Next spicy sauce is called Queen's Majesty Cocoa Ghost, and it's 71,000 Scoville heat units. So we jumped from 49,000 to 71,000. It's a little fancy. tiger on the bottle. Oh, that's fancy. That's Cocoa and ghost is probably ghost pepper then? Yeah, ghost pepper. Ah. Mm. Mm. This is one of Sean Evans' favorite makers. So one of his favorite brands. It's interesting. I don't know. I don't know if I want chocolate with my hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little weird. No, yeah. it, it's it, it's interesting. All right. Um, all right. So the next question is: Other than Final Fantasy, mm -hmm. what are your top five favorite games? Oh, so no Final Fantasy no series Final games. Fantasy. Oh man. I think. Let's see. Number one's got to be, uh, it takes two, because me and my wife played it. Like it's such because she like does not like video games, and it was like a nice introduction for her. Um, what was funny was we beat it, and then I'm like an achievement hunter, and I wanted to like finish all the achievements, but she didn't want to play anymore. So I like played with like one hand. Oh my god! <laughs> and I actually got them all. Um, a big part. Ooh, the new God of War. I haven't played Ragnarok yet, but the one before it was really cool. Um. Very cinematic. I will say Ragnarok is probably one of the best is it? games <clears throat> I've seen recently. I don't um, have a PS5, so I just like watch the games, but it's it's really yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um I like the Yakuza series. Shout out to you for introducing me to it. <laughs> oh Tiffany my told god, me. the Yakuza series. Yeah, it's really good. I like was a little overwhelmed at first just because of all the characters that they were introducing, but I don't know, it's it's a lot of fun. It's like very surreal and mm. I don't know. It's a good one. Um, what else do I like? Shoot, two more. Um, Tetris. Tetris is a classic. Classic. Yeah. Um, oh, and Pokemon. Why didn't I say Pokemon? Oh, my God. Pokemon Crystal. Pokemon go. Oh, Pokemon Crystal. Let's go. It's, that's the OG. That's what I had when I was eight years old. Ooh. My grandma got it for me. <laughs> we went to four stores. Ooh. Would you say Gen 2 is your favorite generation for Pokemon? Yeah, I think, though, in general, it's just whatever generation you were a kid when it came that's out. That's true. Gen 3 is, like, my favorite. Yeah, Ruby like, Sapphire. I played Emerald first. Emerald? Though. Emerald yeah. was so good. I remember, I think those came out when I was, I think, 6th grade Fire Red and Leaf Green came out. Because those are the ones that came with the wireless, I guess, wait, were you even, like, alive yet when they came out? <laughs> 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 wait, how did you play Emerald? <laughs> Yes, but like I okay. Emerald was in it. It was my brother's game. Okay, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say because like Fire Red and Leaf Green, I was in sixth grade, so I was like, wait. Yeah, I've been <laughs> playing math. since I was, you know, inside the womb. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Emerald was a good one. I like those ones. Those had like the upgraded graphics. I feel like the first gen to second gen was a big jump. Second gen to third gen was a big jump. Third gen to fourth gen was like a little bit of a jump. Fourth to fifth was big, and then I feel like. I haven't played them after White and Black, though, so I have to get back into it. I'm, like, 10 years behind or something. I will say, as someone who played the most recent game, Scarlet Violet, where they, they made good? it completely open world, mm -hmm. it's, like, a really big upgrade. Yeah. Like, it feels completely different. Ooh. Um, I think I got bullied for this one <laughs> recently, but yeah. <laughs> people were like, what the heck? Go play Pokemon. So they made me download all it's the emulators. Because you claim that you love Squirtle. I but do. Never They're cute. A Pokemon I've game. never played a Pokemon game Ooh. in my life. Did you at least watch the anime? A little bit. Okay, but like, did you watch the Squirtle Squad episode? <laughs> no, a little true. bit. Okay, okay. Just for Squirtle. Like, okay, I'll, okay, I'll allow it then. Yeah. Squirtle Squad was the best. That was good. Exos. This one is called 13 Angry Scorpions, uh -oh. Jekyll and Hyde, <laughs> and it's 109,000 Scoville heat units. So. 109. We went from. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. That's what their insanity sauce tastes like. Mm. Mm. Actually, that's like exactly what it tastes like. What the heck? They just bought this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like for real, did they just like repackage it? <laughs> well, that's hot. 
And my mouth is just numb. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Are you surviving? I don't yeah. think this one hits as soon as the other one, so. Yeah, it's like a little more mellow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's there, though. It's there. It's hot. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> Do you need milk? No, I'm good. She Last time I survived milk. up to this one, so I'm gonna survive to up the next one. Up to this one? We heard that in the past you fan subbed One Piece. <laughs> Could you tell us about how this happened? Uh, yeah, when I was a kid, I was like in the in a One Piece fan subbing group, and then I was also in a One Piece scanlation group. Uh, I just really liked One Piece. Um, they had like, so so I, I don't know how familiar people are with fan subbing, but there's like different positions in a fan subbing group. So there's like the timers that basically don't do any of the translation, but they just set kind of placeholder boxes at all the start and ends. There's a dedicated person usually to, I don't know if folks have like watched anime that's fan sub that has like the, the intro song. Usually they have like some cool animations on the text instead of it just being like, simple mm -hmm. stuff they like have a karaoke style thing so there's one person dedicated just to the timing on that um there's the translators which i obviously didn't do because i don't speak japanese but um yeah that was that was a fun time you usually they had like an application process whenever someone would step down and then you would just like they usually had a challenge of some sort that you had to show that you could do it well or something like that and then with scan lading it was also similar where they had like the scanner the editor the so for editing they had the cleaner the typesetter um, I don't remember. And then obviously like the translator. I don't remember what other positions they had, but I was a cleaner where your job was like, you're given the really crappy scanned copy of it and you have to like clean it up and make it look like it's digital. And mm. yeah, back in the day. Interesting. Yeah, fun stuff. Do you remember like which episodes or like which arcs of One oh. Piece you sub? I think uh, subbing, let's see. That's a good question. I think it was the crocodile saga like in alabastia is that what it's called the desert place mm -hmm. for the fan subs for the manga for the scanlations i think it was a uh, what was it skypea like ineru like the lightning dude oh yeah, yeah um yeah i think those were the two main ones that i remember no. i'm like a, probably like 500 episodes behind though so i'm like <laughs> yeah don't judge me even there though my like reddit 1000 episodes right now yeah yeah it's wild I still like download them just in case. One day I'll watch them, but <laughs> how long know. did you fan sub for? Uh, I think like a few months. I wasn't very good at it, so I think they <laughs> didn't really want me to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> did you enjoy it? It was fun, yeah, and it was cool, kind of like getting a sneak preview of it before it gets released. Mm -hmm. um, but it also kind of killed it because you don't get to just enjoy it. Like you, play I was a timer, so you like play the same clip over and over again and then like oh. get the timing right um so it it kind of also ruins some of the movie magic right um but it was fun it was a good experience so um people keep telling me i need to watch demon slayer but i haven't seen it yet and i haven't seen attack on titans which i know is blasphemous because everyone says it's really good <laughs> but they're all on my watch list they're making season three or like season four part three part one right? what yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> final season part three part one. Oh my it's god like, they're milking it for like as yeah. many episodes as they can possibly get. So oh man, it's been going on for a while. I think yeah, there's there's just like too much good anime now. It's yeah. like oh, so much to watch in so little yeah, time. Yeah. Cool. We can move on to the next, next one. Da bomb. It's da bomb evolution. Uh oh. A hundred and thirty-five thousand six hundred scoville heat units. Uh oh. Yes. My nose is like starting to run. <laughs> yeah. Time we cook it with the sauce. Oh. We make our own wings. We're gonna do that for. Oh, yeah, I think Joe. that's probably. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is that good or should I put more? I think that's. That's too much? <laughs> okay. Do you wanna like more. show it to the people in the back? <laughs> like put up your chicken wings? Okay. Oh, he's still going. <laughs> but I feel like you put more than me. No, I just poured it a little bit faster. Oh, okay. Okay. Is this enough? Oh. Let's do it. Okay. Alright. Alright. Three, you ready? Two, two. Cheers. One. Nice knowing you. <laughs> mm. It's pretty hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought, though. Maybe I just killed all my taste buds. <laughs> mm. <laughs> How you two feeling? I'm alive. I'm doing well. Okay. 
You want to go? Okay. The training, Never been better. <laughs> the training has helped. Yeah. Yeah. We trained on Monday, so. All right. So we have a few rapid fire questions. Oh, rapid fire. Okay. Tell me the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear these: cat or dog? Cat. Mac or Windows? Mac. Milk before cereal or after cereal? Uh, milk. Before, wait, before or after? You pour it after. After? Sorry, okay. I, I spent too long. But what's the can... runtime of a red black tree find algorithm? Oh, again. <laughs> <laughs> pa. <laughs> Favorite data structure and why? Ooh, I think Bloom filter because it's really simple and memory efficient, but strangely powerful. Ooh, okay. okay. Anyone else have questions they want to ask? Any fast questions? Professor? Um, could you No. <laughs> <laughs> AI violations. <laughs> Favorite PA. Favorite, Favorite PA. PA? Oh, I think PA6, because that's my, like, I snuck in bioinformatics topics into it. <laughs> oh, I remember that one. Sorry. Favorite project? Favorite project. I think project two, because it's super open-ended. Mm. Project one is cool, but I want to, like, teach you guys about more complex compression algorithms, but there's not enough time. So I think project two. Mm, okay. Okay. All right. We'll move yeah. on to the next one. Uh, so that one does grow, be... though. That one is pretty hot. Yeah. I just took a sip of milk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> lost. It's okay. It's I okay. Lost. You made it to the bomb. That, that's a, that's a honorable position to reach. Um, there we go. So the next one is going to be Pucker Butt Pepper Co. Extra Mean Green. And it's um, 702 Scoville Heat Units. So they jumped from 135,000 to 702,000. What? <laughs> so it'll be the second to last bottle in front of you if you want to uh, shake it and then pour it first. Okay. I'm going first this time. Set the bar. Oh, <laughs> he set the bar high. No, no, don't, don't feel pressured though. I don't want people to get hurt. That's <laughs> no, okay. I just like. Bro, just stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You want to me, Shirley? No, it's okay. Don't, don't feel pressured <laughs> okay. though. I will pour a little. Remember, we're all competing against ourselves. That's true. That's true. Growth mindset. Three, two, Cheers. one. Cheers. That's hot. Mm-hmm. So the next question is, do you have any advice to your younger self when you were like a student? Younger self when I was a student? Oh, even my nose is running off. You got me. Usually my nose doesn't run. <laughs> um, so. Advice to myself as a student. I think main thing is don't sign up for ADM because you're not going to go despite <laughs> what you tell yourself. <laughs> And then second thing is go to class. Uh, I think I, I skipped class way too much. Some of them because of ADM, some because I was like lazy and the hubris of a college student. I think the other thing is like, um, like as, as simple as it sounds, like honestly getting enough sleep is underrated. Like when I got into grad school, I just didn't have as many extracurriculars going on. So I like would go to sleep at a regular time. And I was like, well, I'm like so smart. I can like think. <laughs> Uh, so I didn't realize, like, I played all of college on hard mode by not sleeping enough, so. Well, it's hitting. Yeah, it's pretty I'm hot. okay. <laughs> you can keep telling yourself that. I'm okay. I'm and okay. You keep telling yourself that. I haven't touched work. the milk. I think the milk makes it worse. Words of affirmation. <laughs> I don't need milk. I don't need it. I am smart. All right. Yeah, it's really hot. Okay, our last sauce. Oh, man. You want to read it aloud? This one. My mouth hurts. <laughs> this one is the hot ones, the last dab. Apollo. 2 million plus global heat units, and yeah, yep. 2 million ways for me to die. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I think we collectively put too much on the last one, but now like we kind of have to put a lot because it's like the last tradition. Half. It's tradition. Oh, no. Now I'm regretting it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this one's like a chunky one, too. Uh, that one. Oh, my nose is running. Mine, too. Oh god. Uh oh. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that, okay, I, I didn't mean to do that one though. That one was an accident. Oh man. Yeah, that's a lot. Good idea. <laughs> okay. I'll be okay. We'll be okay. I'm like gaslighting myself into being I know, like, right? It's okay. There's nothing wrong. Your mouth's not on fire. It's not. I don't feel pain. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> it's actually not spicy at all. Oh yeah, that was not too much. Not spicy at all. Not at all. all right. Uh oh. Ready? Three, two, Cheers. one. Mm. I'm numb. <coughs> <That was hot. laughs> I'm numb to the pain. 
Okay. That's really hot. <laughs> okay. Do you want to pull up your laptop? You good? Yeah. Alright. So. Let's do it. Am I going up there? Yeah, you can go. Up there. <laughs> so I can read it out loud, but. Do you wear the whoever's laptop this is? I got hot sauce on my finger. So. Alright, so given an array of integers nums and an integer target, return indices of two numbers such that they add up to target. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution, and you may not use the same element twice. You can return the answer in any order. Your time starts now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we already started it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>